Hello and welcome to Dress Mickey Amore. In this video, I'll be showing you how to easily sew this elegant and romantic Jane dress. This comfortable empire waist dress has a beautiful ruched bodice, charming short puff sleeves, and the prettiest soft fit and flare skirt. You can either make this dress in a mini, knee, or a maxi length, and all of these lengths are included in the PDF sewing pattern that we'll be using. You can get yours at the link below in the description of this video. Here are the materials you'll need. In this video, I'll be using a 4-thread serger as well as a sewing machine, but you can simply use a serger imitation seam or a zigzag stitch on your machine instead. This pattern is only made for a medium weight stretch knit fabric as there's no closure. I recommend one that has about 5-9% to elastane, and this would be something like a jersey knit, french terry, brushed poly, or a soft ponte knit. For both of the dresses that I showed, the mini lilac one and the maxi one, I used a jersey rayon fabric. I've included the detailed instructions for cutting your fabric in the instructional booklet that comes with your pattern, so please check that out. Before we get started, please like and subscribe if you want to see more of these kinds of videos. Place two gathering stitches at the top of the front detail. Also place a gathering stitch at the bottom of this detail as well. Mark the centers of the front detail and the front lining at the top and bottom. Pin the front detail and the lining at the center marks at the top and the bottom wrong sides together and stay stitched between the marks starting to sew from the top and down to the bottom and then pin matching the marks at the sides. Now we're going to make our pretty gathers. Take the two bottom threads of the stitches and pull to gather the top edge between the marks. Here I only have one row of a gathering stitch. It's not necessary to have two, but if you want to have a more even, controlled gathering, then go with two stitches. Evenly distribute your gathering and pin to the lining. Then in the same way, gather the other side of the front. Stay stitch the gathering to lining. Your pins should be perpendicular to your stitches so that you can see them while you're sewing and can easily take them out during the process. Stay stitch the gathering at the bottom edge as well. Now we'll go to our ironing board. Nicely spread out the gathering and press. Press at the side seams to flatten them and press your gathering so that it will remember its place and will be stable without moving around a lot. Now we need to check if our bodice is symmetrical and if the edges are even, or we might need to true our edges to make the lining even with the front at the armhole and the sides. Place the back and the front bodice pieces right sides together and pin the side seams. Sew the side seam. And now press the seams of the bodice. Fold your sleeve right sides together, and here the mark at the armhole indicates the back side of the sleeve. Pin the side seams and make sure you have two symmetrical sleeves. Sew the side seam of the sleeve and press. Choose the right sleeve to the right armhole. There are marks that indicate the back side of the sleeves and the back of the bodice, so make sure to match these up. Pin the sleeve into the armhole, matching the marks at the back and the side seam. And pin the other sleeve in the same way. Sew your sleeves into the armholes.
pin the center back seam of the skirt, and sew. And now press the center back seam. Place the front skirt and the back skirt pieces right sides together and pin the side seams of the skirt. Then sew and press. Mark the center back of the bodice and check if you have marks on the center front of the skirt. Then place the skirt and bodice right sides together. Pin matching your side seams, center front and center back. Then pin in between these marks and sew the empire waistline. Cut the elastic based on your underbust measurement using the chart in the booklet as a guide. Mark the half and quarters of the elastic. Pin the elastic on the bodice side at the waistline, matching the elastic marks with the center front, center back, and side seams. Sew the elastic to the waistline, slightly stretching it. If you like, you can use a three stub zigzag here to sew the elastic. Lightly press your waistline. Serge around the top edge of the bodice and the sleeves. Also, serge the bottom edge of your sleeve. Press the serge seam to flatten it and almost embed it into the fabric. At the neckline, fold 1 cm or 3 8 of an inch to the wrong side. Pin around and press. You can either base stitch the gathered area or place more pins to keep the gathering in place. Sew 2 to 3 mm from the serged edge, forming a casing. In the process of sewing, I use even more pins to keep the gathering in place. Leave 3 cm or 1 inch of unsewn space. Insert your elastic through this opening, and the elastic length should be comfortable around your shoulders, so please check it before you insert it, because it really depends on the softness and the quality of your elastic. Sew the ends of your elastic and evenly distribute your gathering. And sew up the opening. Fold and pin 1 cm or 3 8 of an inch to the wrong side or more if you're using a wider elastic to create your casing. Press and sew the casing. Insert your elastic into your sleeve casing here. And I like to use two safety pins on both ends of the elastic so I don't lose it in the process. Also check that your elastic is not twisted inside the casing. Then close the opening in the casing and evenly distribute your gathering. Now hem the dress. You can use a narrow serger seam or a rolled seam here. Give your pretty Jane dress a final press. And as an optional bonus here, you can insert bra cups for a little more coverage through the opening at the side seams of the lining. I'm using some swim bra cups here. And just like that, we are done with our elegant Jane Empire waist dress. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this inspires you to sew one for yourself. I know you're going to love it. Get this PDF downloadable sewing pattern at the link in the description of this video. And happy sewing!